Bye. All right, bye. I'm an introvert, if you will. Saw it. Nice jigsaw, bro. Uh, What's up, guys? It's your boy, Ride With Danger. And my sleeves partially rolled up for some reason. I decided to make a full-length video today, obviously, featuring this Insta360 camera that is not tightened down correctly, so it's probably just gonna fall randomly, but that's okay. I also gotta get practice with editing on that, so that'll be fun. For real, I'm waiting for it to just whoop. But I had a longer topic today, so I thought I would make a longer video, naturally. I know, big brain time, right? Oh, 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 there it goes. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know how to tighten that part and I didn't have time to do it. And if it falls, it falls. It'll just be facing the ground or whatever. Get up there, boy. Why is this mirror off now? Man, what is going on with me today? I'm not prepared. Saw it, dude. Nice Camaro. Oh, he looks like you ran into something. Womp womp. I'm sure a lot of you know, but this is a rather small niche on a YouTube, TikTok, it's a whatever. Typically, riding on a motorcycle and reasonably staying within the law is not a huge market for people. Personally, I mix mine with comedy, whatever you want to call it. Just me being silly, just having fun, enjoying life. That's really all it is. Uh-oh, the police pulled someone over at the Dollar General. GSP. They got you, boy. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh there he goes. <laughs> That's fine. Whatever. <laughs> Get up here. <laughs> but even a lot of other moto vloggers that I have known and met, and other ones I've never met, I noticed a lot of them were really struggling for a while. Relatively speaking, you know, they're, a lot of them are still doing fine, but a lot of them had to get other jobs other than YouTube because it's just been harder on the platform over the last several years. And a lot of them just quit. Like, you can go look back at the the peak of moto vlogging, if you will. And a lot of the big names that everyone knew for motorcycle videos just have disappeared. Some of them switch genres, I guess. A lot of them do other type of content now. Stop falling! <laughs> But that's kind of what I was going to talk about and why I'm still doing it and why I'm actually doing it more as of recently. Oh my god, stop. I got to figure out how to tighten that later. That's annoying. Quit. <laughs> Look, I didn't even take off the screen protector on that thing. It's going to fly off and I'm going to feel bad for littering. Not the only law I'm going to break today, right boys? <laughs> Vehicular manslaughter. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I littered. I apologize. I'm not going to go back and get it up. Now we got a fresh new screen to put our hands on. But yeah, the reason I actually do this even more now is because it's more convenient than ever. So to be real with you guys for a minute, in case you haven't noticed with all my videos, I am going back and forth to my real job. And I know that may surprise some of the haters that keep giving me comments like, you need to get a job. Uh, well, surprise, that's where I'm going. Oh my God, stop. And another surprise, probably not as big of a surprise if you read my comments, is that I have a family at home and like, God, it's super annoying. I'm about to just give up on this camera completely. But just as a rule to myself, I don't really want this interfering with my family. I'm a pretty non-social person, believe it or not. I'm an introvert, if you will. What happened there? And I really like staying at home with my family. Nope, cool. Whatever, dude. I suck eggs. So my time with family is very important to me, and I don't want this interfering with it. And I know a lot of people, to make their videos, had to kind of stop what they were doing and go out and make this content. And like, that's really stressful like if I couldn't do this on the way to work and back I probably wouldn't be doing it at all because like I have very limited free time as it is and I know like editing and stuff takes away time but I've found a way to do that to where it doesn't interfere with anything and that's hugely important for me oh get a little wind going almost as important as these rumbly boys am I right <sighs> Uh, 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 feels like a 
helicopter. What's up, boys? Oh, camera's about to fall in. I've about had enough of you, boy. But yeah, that's really the main point of what I wanted to talk about. The point of my content is the dumb things I'm saying and making up as I go. <sighs> bye. All right, bye. <laughs> you know what? Stay there. <laughs> No, no, I want you up for the tunnel. It might look cool. I don't know. It might look cool down there, honestly. You know what? Screw it. Stay down there. But I don't film a lot of crazy content. Or, well, I mean, maybe mentally crazy, if you will. But I don't do, like, crazy adventures out anywhere. And I kind of take the same roads, usually. Not always, but usually. Saw, dude. Nice jigsaw, bro. break any crazy laws or anything usually on camera <laughs> I'm just kidding I really don't the speed limits a dumb law anyway but I digress so a lot of you just watch this content for that little silly randomness the ADHD stuff and like that's the point of why I do it is to have fun like this is just me being me on a motorcycle and it's hard to film this type of silly randomness without some sort of medium, which in this case is a motorcycle. If I were to be doing POVs in a car, probably wouldn't hit the same, and that's okay. But that makes this a really small niche. So like, I, I, I do get paid from this on like two platforms that I post on, and it's very minimal. It's really not much. It's definitely not enough to like make it worth doing if that was all I did, you know? Well, obviously, it wouldn't give me enough to live on easily, but... I mean, like, it wouldn't be worth doing just for the money, is what I'm saying. But yeah, I do have merch if you guys ever want to buy anything. That helps me a little bit. It gives me a few dollars so I can go buy a coffee and not hate life as much. So that's cool. Link in description down below. But yeah, this kind of... I, I don't know. I thought of this topic this morning. Also, super convenient because my other GoPro just straight up died. It's why it's not here and why I'm using the 360 camera. Actually, I was going to do that anyway, but yeah, like straight up, it just won't turn on anymore. So I got to figure that out. All right, you can go. Just don't hit me, please. Don't hit me, please. I'll be a good boy. But yeah, I guess I'm going to cut that video off with these cyber trucks right here. You know, just wanted you to check out these cyber trucks. Very cool, Tesla. Very mindful. Very demure. And this Honda guy wants you to know he's driving a Honda and has Toyo tires, so make sure you remember that. It'll be on the quiz at the end of this video. But yeah, that's it. I just kind of wanted to give my perspective because I've had a few comments that are like, why do you always take the same roads and stuff? And like, I don't know, some people are asking for a little more background. And I'm not going to give you a ton, but I wanted to kind of give you a basic idea of what was going on for like the eight people that will watch this video. All right, I'm going to hop on this elevator real quick and I'll see you guys at the top. Wall tap. Boop. Ow. All right, I'm going to pull this up for a little goodbye. All right, I love you guys. I'll catch you on the other side when we all pass over, because I'm going to kill you. Bye. Meow. Meow.